Hello, my name's Lisa and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be another one about beauty influencers and this time we are going to be looking at Glamzilla, Jeffree Star, oh that's the first one on my channel at any rate, it probably won't be the last though, and Michaela Nugera. Let's face it, that's nothing new for Michaela to be featured in a video, is it? She never seems to be too far away from controversy and drama. So let's dive right into the controversy and see what's going on in the beauty community today. I was never an ELF fan, but recently all their launches have been hitting. But is this a miss? We'll find out. I don't know what they've been doing, but it's working. Like, I feel like the research, development, and duping team is really doing a good job. It really sounds there like she's going to give them a fair crack of the whip, but is she? So these are the e.l.f. Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens. I don't really care if they plump my lips. I care that they glide well um, and they look good. So let's see. I'm using the shade. What shade is this? I Oh, it's got no shade. Let me see the, the packaging. I don't know what shade this is. Okay. This is in the shade Toasted. Let's see. Oh, no. Why did I know? It's very thick. Okay. It's very, it's very much like the Tarte, sh Tarte Maracuja, but it's very thick. Oh, man. See, I knew I wouldn't like this. I spoke too soon. I was hoping. Hold on. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Looks good. Uh, I spoke too soon. They're very, like, melty. I do not like this formula, but let's keep going. I'm not a makeup expert, but even to my untrained eye, it looks like she's putting far too much on. I love a red. This is the shade Red My Mind. Okay. 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 I don't like this formula, but I am feeling a cooling sensation from the last lip color. It's definitely feeling like it's plumping my lips, but it's cooling and it's not spicy. It's cooling. Like, I know some of you love this kind of stuff, but I don't get it. Like, I... That looks good. A lot of people were saying in the comments of this video that she used far too much of the product, that she pushed up the lipstick far too many times, and that she's not a fan of things that are cheap. So this e.l.f. product that she's using only costs $8. So is it the fact that she's a snob? Is it the fact that she only likes expensive stuff? Or does she really not like it? Everyone else seems to like it though. So is it just her? I don't know. That's quite confusing, isn't it? I'm not really a lipstick kind of person. Probably because I've got very thin and rubbishy lips so that's probably why i don't wear it but i don't know maybe you'll let me know in the comments what you think i'm gonna try less for the next shade i'm using the shade just peachy i'm really happy that this shade would work on my paler girls okay just peachy i'm gonna use much less gross nasty not my vibe but i'm happy if it is your vibe just patchy it's too thick you can't i'm trying okay she seems very trying to me right so let's see what jeffree star has to say about that video that we've just watched oh no why did i know it's very one thing i will always do is stand up for elf because i love affordable makeup affordable makeup jesus take the wheel another day another beauty controversy hi how are ya here are the elf clout pout plumping pens now these are allegedly a dupe for the juicy lip plump from tarte now this is 24 dollars 24 dollars and these are $8. So is this a dupe or not? We will find out. But baby, with this cheap ass packaging, tart, spare me. So about a week ago, six days ago, a controversial moment happened. Miss Glamzilla reviewed the e.l.f. Clout Pout pen, specifically in this shade, Pinky Out. People had a lot to say. She hated the product. Obviously, Miss Jen here that we stitched liked it. And I'm here to figure it the fuck. 
So what's the problem and why was there drama? Well, it's the way that everyone keeps applying this. People are saying they hate it. Some people are saying they love it. Well, as the most unbiased person in the beauty community, I'm here to tell you the truth. I don't really know a lot about Jeffree Star. I have watched quite a few of his TikToks and some of his videos on YouTube. But one thing I will say is he does seem to be quite honest in the things he says. If he really doesn't like it, he says so. And if he likes it, he says so. That's all I can say, really, because that's all I've seen of him. For $8, what is this supposed to do before we try it? This is a three-in-one tinted moisturizing lip plumping gloss. It has a cooling sensation, allegedly, and it's supposed to give us a smooth, glossy, and plumped out finish. L let's just get this over with. Let's try it. This is a shade that they are complaining about. They're also saying you can't see the shade label on the bottom. Bitch, it's right there. The irony is look at the Tarte one. I just opened this and the shade label is coming off. <laughs> the problem that I'm noticing in some people's reviews, they're just putting too much product out. They're clicking this too much. Ready? That's all you need. Have I tried these yet? No! So here's our first impression. Let's go. That shade is actually really looking pretty. I'm getting a little bit of a cooling sensation and it's only been a few seconds. And this is how much I clicked out. Well, I have to agree with Jeffrey. He's giving it a fair go. He's not putting far too much on like Glamzilla did. And to be honest, I feel that she didn't really want to give it a go. She didn't, I don't know, she just gave me the impression that she wasn't going to like it before she even started. This shade is called Red My Mind. How cute is that? Now a red version. Oh girl, we're scared. Ready? One, two. Click it a few times. Oh, I'm doing one more click. Ah. What about the texture when you put your lips together? To me, it feels fine. It doesn't feel gummy or weird. I thought this one was maybe gonna give me a little bit more trouble than the nudes, but you just had to finesse the color in a little bit more because it has a little bit more pigment to it. But so far, so good. Okay, we have tried all of these. Let's give our final thoughts. For $8, baby, this is an amazing dupe for Tarte. And even if they weren't duping Tarte, I think it's a cute product. I'm not sure what the problem is with everyone, but I think if you click less, and just give it a swirl. It definitely is an amazing product. For $8, you get a cute cooling sensation, an amazing shade range. I definitely think, Glamzilla, you gotta try these out again. The e.l.f. Clout Pout Lip Plumping Pen is Jeffree Star approved. Now it's Jeffree Star approved. Are you gonna rush out and buy it? I'm not, but maybe you will. Now let's have a look at what Michaela's been up to, shall we? My skin looks the best it has my whole life. I have to remind you, I will never let my skin get like this again. Never. This is when I had no skincare routine at all. And now I have found a consistent daily routine that I am so obsessed with, so in love with, it has done so much good for my skin. So I'm gonna show you the full routine. And none of this is sponsored. It's not an ad, I buy all this shit myself. Well, there we have the first bit of controversy because Michaela is always being accused of not advertising the fact it's an ad. So she's very hot on saying it's not an ad and that she's bought it herself. But how many times have you heard in any of her videos her tell you that it is an ad, that it's sponsored? Normally, she puts a little hashtag ad if you're lucky. And to be honest, that is just not good enough. I'm not advertising anything in the comments of my videos, but I have got a disclaimer down there that says that if you click on any link in any of my videos, that it could be an affiliate link and I'm not even advertising it. Even I know how you're supposed to do it. 
So let's see what she says about this skincare routine because it is going to be quite interesting. She's going to show us one in this video and then she's going to show us more and more and more. And she's quite contradictory. So let's see her contradicting herself. She's nothing new, is it? I say this every skincare video I do. I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a dermatologist. This is just what works for me. First, I'm gonna remove all of my makeup. I use Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. I apply this directly to dry skin. Basically, this is just gonna melt all of the makeup off. I rinse that off with warm water and now I'm gonna use the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. Gently massage this into slightly damp skin. Really work this into the skin for at least 60 seconds. Here's where it gets interesting. This is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This is basically a face polish. I'm gonna put this into my hand. Look at it, it's like a powder. I'm gonna add water to this and it's gonna turn into like a paste. It looks like this. And I'm gonna work this into the skin. Basically this gives the skin a light exfoliation. Now you can do this daily, I don't. I do it every couple of days when I feel it's needed, when I feel I really need to exfoliate my skin, but it feels so nice. If you have acne, you have to try this. This changed my skin like crazy. And I also have Cody using it and his skin looks the best it ever has. We need to remember what Michaela just said there, that this is the best thing for her skin. It's gotten rid of her acne and for her husband as well because she's going to be saying it again very shortly about another product. It's called Oil La La, Oil La La from Crave Beauty. It has le linoleic acid. I don't really know what this does, but it is crazy how this can clear your acne, especially if you have like a lot of acne. Like I've shown you Cody's skin. I am amazed at what this has done to his skin. So we use this every single day. I actually need to get a new bottle. Obviously my skin is red from applying all that skincare. Now I'm gonna go in with a Dermalogica Calm Water Gel. This is gonna calm that redness down. Um, and I like to use a lot of this. I almost use it like a mask. It's a super light gel, yet it feels like you've taken a drink of water. Okay, I'm gonna let my skin calm down for a couple minutes. Baby, look at this skin. Look at this skin. Oh my freaking God, like, that's my routine. I've been doing it for a couple months now, and um, I love it. I love it so much. In my opinion, we have to remember that Michaela is only, what, 25 or 26 years old? So realistically, her skin should look good, shouldn't it? So can you really attribute it to those products? Who knows? This next skincare routine is sponsored by Clarins and they've paid for her flight and her hotel room and obviously given her all of the beauty products. So let's see what she says about it. And my favorite, favorite thing to do at the end of a long travel day is skincare. Oh my God, it's like a spa treatment. Took off all my makeup, gave myself a really nice relaxing cleanse. Because with all the traveling, your skin definitely takes a hit. I used the Clarence Cleanser. By that point, it was probably like 9.30. But remember, I am I live on Boston time, not LA. So I was like so dead. I hopped right into bed and watched that Love is Blind reunion, which was so good. Good night. Thought that was quite disappointing. She didn't really have much to say about her free products, did she? She didn't give them a thumbs up or thumbs down. She just said she used them and then went to bed. Well, now we've got another skincare routine. I mean, how many does this woman have? And it just goes to show that these beauty influencers have far too many products, in my opinion. What a total waste of money when they don't use very much out of any of them, or so it would seem. I have spoken about Real Skincare again and again and again and again. I have 
have never been more consistent with a skincare product in my life. I have this on auto subscribe. Like I'm getting it sent to me every month. This completely transformed not just me, but also my husband's skin. He doesn't have acne anymore. I don't know if you noticed. Didn't she just say that in the first video? That that stuff she was using transformed her and her husband's skin. And now she's attributing it to this product. So in which video are you telling the truth, Michaela? Loving the updated packaging. So excited because they extended the line. They have a new brightening triple acid exfoliant treatment and a complete acne serum. If you struggle with acne, this routine would be fire. First thing I'm gonna do is cleanse the face. The texture is just so creamy. The reason I like Rayal is it's good for sensitive skin. This has AHAs, BHAs, and PHAs, and triple hyaluronic acid. I'm gonna apply a layer of this to my skin and let it sit three to 10 minutes. Basically, this exfoliates, evens out your skin tone, and unclogs your pores. It's been about five minutes. I'm gonna rinse this off. Now I'm gonna go in with the complete acne serum. Salicylic acid, zinc, niacinamide, and this is just gonna help further treat and unclog those pores, clear that acne. Feels so nice. It doesn't have any sensitivity. My skin's already glowing and looks super healthy and hydrated, but I'm just gonna finish off with a little bit of moisturizer on top, and then I'm done with my routine. If you have acne prone skin like me, I cannot recommend Rayal enough. I am literally so happy that they extended the line. Cody and I do our skincare together at night, and you best believe that these are gonna be incorporated into our daily routines. Why should we believe they're gonna be incorporated into your routines? Are you sponsored by them? Because you certainly didn't say whether you were or not. I didn't see the little ad sign on this particular video. And I really don't understand why brands trust anything you say or anybody else for that matter. I mean, I know you've got 15 and a half million followers on TikTok. How can they all believe a word you say when you are a beauty influencer? So you've got so many of every single product that is around. You get sent things by the big brands all the time. Yes, you do make a video about them. Yes, you put it on. Yes, you say in every video that everything is fantastic. I've watched hundreds and hundreds of your TikToks and I have never ever seen you say that you do not like a product. So why do they trust you? Especially when there is so much controversy surrounding just people saying your name. I mean, you've got all this skincare. Then there was lash gate when you said that the mascara made your lashes that much longer and yet it was proven that you did put on falsies. So why does anyone trust you? I just really don't get it. Well, that's it for this video. I'm sure we'll be back with the beauty influencers and more controversy very soon if you've enjoyed this video then give it a like subscribe to my channel i'll see you on the next video and if you're interested in something else from michaela then watch this video and if you just want to see some other content that i've made then watch this video